well, the subtopic of organic compound containing oxygen, ethers. We know this is called chloromethane, chloroethane, chloropropane, chlorocyclopentane, chlorobenzene. Means these are the derivatives of chloro, derivatives of alkanes, chloro derivatives of alkanes, chloro derivatives of cyclohexane, uh, cycloalkane, chloro derivatives of aromatic hydrocarbon. In other words, you may say all these are chloro derivatives of hydrocarbon. Like that, we can write the formula for the different ethers, example like CH3, OCH3, C2H5, OCH3, C3H7, OCH3, or C2H5. Like this, we have OCH3. This one, OCH3. So all these are nothing but ethers. So we can define ethers. OCH3 or OCH5 is common. Remaining is nothing but the hydrocarbons. So definition for ether is alkoxy, alkoxy. For example, methoxy, methoxy. Alkoxy derivative of hydrocarbons are called ethers. Okay, so they are represented by general formula ROR dash, where R may be alkyl group, R may be aryl group, or R dash may be alkyl group or aryl. In this way, we can define ethers. What are ethers? Alkoxy derivatives of hydrocarbons are called ethers. General formula is R O R dash. R and R dash may be alkyl or aryl groups. Well, after this, about the classification of ethers. We are classifying ethers into two categories. One is symmetric ether or simple ether. Another is unsymmetric ether or it is mixed ether. Symmetric ether means if identical groups are attached to oxygen then they are called symmetric ether. For example, CH3 is R, R is also CH3, it must be CH3 or symmetric. So unsymmetric or mixed ether, simple definition, if the two different groups are attached to oxygen, then they are called unsymmetric ether. So, let us discuss about classification, nomenclature of ethers. Before going to that, I want to write the definition of ethers. It is alkoxy. Alkoxy. Or there may be aryl group also. Aryl oxy. Oxy derivative. Orion oxy derivative of hydrocarbon. Or hydrocarbon are called hydrocarbons are called ethers. Are called ethers. General formula or ether is
the definition and general formula for ethers. Next it is classification. Classification of ethers. Ethers are classified into two categories. Number one, symmetric ether. Symmetric ether. It's also called simple ether. Symmetric ether or simple ether. Ether in which ether in which oxygen is attached by identical group by two identical group. are all symmetric ether. Are called symmetric ethers. Examples CH3 OCH3 CH3 OCH3 C2H5 OC2H5. So oxygen is attached by two identical groups. Oxygen is attached by two identical groups. We can discuss the name of these compounds in the nomenclature. Second one is unsymmetric. Unsymmetric ethers. Or mixed ethers. Mixed ethers. Ethers in which ethers in which oxygen is attached. Oxygen is attached. By two different groups two different groups are called are called unsymmetric unsymmetric ethers so examples for unsymmetric ethers examples CH three O C two five. So group one part, one is CH three, another is C two H five. Then C six H five. Or I am writing benzene ring. Then we have O C H three. Group one different. So unsymmetric ether and symmetric ether. Separate note is not necessary. So I am writing all the things on the board. You have to refer these notes. Write it in a notebook. Regularly, regular studies needed. Otherwise, it is difficult to remember. The prop, as I told, all organic compounds are volatile. So you repeat it many times. Otherwise, it is difficult to remember the organic reactions or organic chemistry. Well, now let us discuss some nomenclature. Andre. ಇವೆಲ್ಲ ಏನು ಮಾಡಬೇಕು ಸಪ್ರೇಟ್ ನೋಟ್ಸ್ ಬೇಕು ಅಂತಿಲ್ಲ ಅದಕ್ಕಾಗಿ ಎಲ್ಲ ಉಳಿತಾ ಇದ್ದೇನೆ ಅದನ್ನು ರೆಫರ್ ಮಾಡ್ರಿ ಸರಿಯಾಗಿ ನೋಡ್ಬಿಡ್ತಾರೆ ಬರೀರಿ ಇದು ಬಿಟ್ಟು ಬೇರೆ ಕ್ವಶನ್ಸ್ ಬರಲ್ಲ ಪರೀಕ್ಷೆ ಹಾಗಾಗಿ ಇದನ್ನೇ ಸಫಿಷಿಯೆಂಟ್ ಬೋರ್ಡ್ ಮೇಲೆ ಬರೆದು ನಾ ಇಷ್ಟು ಕ್ಲಾಕ್ ಪಾಠ ಮಾಡಿದೆಲ್ಲ ಬೋರ್ಡ್ ಮೇಲೆ ಬರೆದಿದ್ದೆ ಸಫಿಷಿಯೆಂಟ್ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಅದನ್ನೇ ಸರಿಯಾಗಿ ಓದ್ಕೊಂಡು ಸರಿಯಾಗಿ ಅರ್ಥ ಮಾಡಿಕೊಂಡು ಬರೆದ್ಬಿಟ್ರೆ ನಿಮಗೆ ಈಸಿ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ನೆನ್ಪಿಟ್ಕೊಳ್ಳೋದು ಸ್ವಲ್ಪ ಡಿಫಿಕಲ್ಟಿ ಯಾಕಂದರೆ ಎಲ್ಲ ಆಪ್ರೇಷನ್ ಆಗ್ತಾ ಇರ್ತವೆ ಅವ್ರಿಗೆ ಕೆಮಿಸ್ಟ್ರಿ ಅದು ಬರ್ದು ಬರೆದು ತೆಗಿಬೇಕು ಬರೀಬೇಕು ಅವರಿಗಿಂತ ಮೊದಲೇ ಕರೆಕ್ಟಾಗಿ ಅರ್ಥ ಮಾಡ್ಕೊಳ್ಬೇಕು ಇಲ್ಲಾಂದರೆ ಡಿಫಿಕಲ್ಟ್ ಆಗ್ತಾ ಹೋಗುತ್ತೆ ಈಗಾಗಲೇ ಮಾಡ್ತಾ ಇರಬೇಕು ರಿವಿಷನ್ ಮಾಡ್ತಾ ಇರಬೇಕಾಗುತ್ತೆ ಇವಾಗ ನಾವು ಮೊಮೆನ್ ಕ್ಲೇಚರ್ ಬಗ್ಗೆ ಡಿ
Now it's about nomenclature. As we know, well, namely we are compound by two methods, one is common name and another is IPC. The suffix power either in common system we don't have actual suffix, but in the common system suffix is ether. The two group alkyl or aryl group attached to that one, I mean the ether is named first then suffix ether is added. For example, ethyl, methyl, ether or diethyl ether or dimethyl ether. So first you have to name the alkyl or aryl group then add suffix to that. So dimethyl ether, ethyl methyl ether, then we have propyl methyl ether, etc. So while naming the alkyl or aryl group, we have to name according to alphabetical order. For example, if you have mixed ether CH3OC to H5, that means we have two groups. One is CH3, another C to H5, methyl and ethyl. Which one comes first? Ethyl. So, before methyl, we have ether alphabetically, so it's ethyl, methyl, ether. In common system, after naming the alkyl or aryl group, suffix ether is added. Well, in IUPAC system, ether is not functional group, just I told you, ether is not functional group. So, in IUPAC system, first the group alkoxy's name or aryl oxys named, then it's a hydrocarbon. So alkoxy alkane or alkoxy arene. Well, which group we are to take alkoxy? The group which contains lesser number of carbon atom is the alkoxy. And the group which contains more number of carbon atom is hydrocarbon may be alkane or may be aryl. So it will be clear at the time of writing the common name and IPSC name of different ethers. Well, ethers, nomenclature, or the nomenclature of ethers. So number one, common name. Common name is it's a ether suffix ether is suffix ether is added is added after naming after naming the group the means it may be alkyl or aryl alkyl or aryl attached attached to oxygen Group is named the group it is named according to alphabetic order. In alphabetical order. In alphabetic order. Example. Alphabetically, that is first ethyl, 
benzene ring OCH3 then we have OCH3 or you can now put one more thing instead of cyclic same and right side of the well this is methyl group and this one is so you know propyl so this is so methyl isopropyl CH is attached to 2 CH the first you have to name iso isopropyl methyl ether isopropyl then we have methyl and propyl. There are two possibilities for propyl. It is two possibilities for propyl. One is iso and another is normal. This is normal. This is because we don't find CH is attached to, to CH3. This is normal. This is a normal propyl and this one is ethyl. So E comes first. The name of this one is ethyl. Normal propyl or N propyl ethyl. Well, this one is butane. Two carbon, one, two, three, four. Four means butane. So it is N butane. N butane, ethyl, ethyl. Next, this one is methyl, phenyl, ether. L M N O P. After M P comes. It is methyl, phenyl. There is no I U P S name for this. There also we don't have a sorry common name for this. Now IPS. In IPS this is coming first you have to small name the small group as alkoxy. Well both are identical already as given this one, so it's a methoxy, methoxy, methane. Next one is methoxy methane. Next one is well how to name this one? So it's a methoxy. This one is isopropane. Well, how to name the isopropane? 1, 2, 3. So, this is the substituent. OCH is the substituent. So, you are naming that one prefix as a prefix. Well, it is a 2 methoxy. On the second carbon, we have methoxy group. 2 methoxy is propane. 2 methoxy. On the second carbon, we have OCH3, so it is 2 methoxy. Well, this one is again we have named the number of the carbon because the, if we have three or more carbon atoms, we must number it. It is so ethoxy, then propane. On which carbon we have ethoxy? On carbon number 1. So, the name of this compound is 1 ethoxy. Methoxy propane. One methoxy propane. Well, what about this one? One, two, three, four. You can name this one. It's a one methoxy butane. One methoxy butane. What about this one? This is called C here. Methyl, then this is the benzene. The number of carbon atoms more in the benzene is 6 compared to this one, it is only 1 here. Well, so it is methoxic benzene. This one is methoxy, methoxy benzene. It is also called aniso. This is also called aniso according to the common system. And what about this? 
We are totally three substituents. As we know, this one represents CH3. This is CH3. So, I am getting CH3. You should not get confused here. And without CH3, also it implies it's a bond line formula like is CH3. No need of writing CH3. If it is written, then it's specified. Otherwise, no need. Simple bond line, bond line formula, we don't find the carbon. Simple, you are showing the lines. So, we have two CH3 group attached to this one and one OCH3 group attached to this carbon. The question arises, from which carbon you have to number whether from this one or this one. For that you have to see the lowest sum group. That is, total number of carbons of the substituents in the ring must be minimum. If it is numbered from here, you have two substituents, so it is 1 plus 1. Then next one is this one, plus 2, second carbon, 1, 2. So first carbon is in second. So totally 4. If it is numbered from here, if it is numbered from here, it is a 1, OC is number 1, and this one is, we have, this is carbon number 2, it is numbered like this. 2 plus 2, totally 2 groups are there, so it is 5. This is the correct way of some of the locant must be minimum, some of the location must be minimum. Numbering from here, so the sum of the number, if it is numbered like this, the sum of the number equal to 4, and if it is numbered from here, sum of the number equal to 4. Well, the name of this compound is, it is, okay, 1 comma 1, dime dime, 1 comma 1, I methyl, then it is 2 methoxy, 2 methoxy, benzene. Well, the name of this compound is, it is methoxy cyclopentene. Methoxy, methoxy cyclopentene. So, for this type of compound, you have to remember numbering. Generally, for the examination, the general examination, this type of question comes for writing the IUPSC name of the ether, like this numbering, which is not number. Simple, it is not a methoxy propane. So, you have number on which carbon we find methoxy group. Well, this is the nomenclature of ethers. Now, let us discuss some the preparation of ethers, then physical properties and also the chemical properties. Well, in the preparation of ethers, we have two methods. One is from alcohols and another is from alkyl halide. As you are studied in alcohols, so alcohol undergo dehydration and the temperature is about 170 degree Celsius in presence of concentrated H2SO4 to give algae. That reaction is called dehydration, acid catalyzed dehydration of alcohol. Suppose if the temperature is around 140 degree or 413 degree, then the product form is ether. Well, here you are using an excess of this alcohol compared to that of the first type of reaction that is a dehydration reaction. There you are using excess of H2SO4 temperature is around 170. Here temperature is 413 Kelvin or it is around 100, it is around 140 degrees Celsius. So simple reaction, you are getting ether. What type of ether can be obtained by this method? So in this method, you are getting simple ether. So this reaction or this preparation is suitable for symmetric ether, not for asymmetric ether. Second one is from alkyl halide. We know that reaction is called Williamson ether synthesis that already you are studied in the alkyl halide or yellow alkynes.